guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a very chill, kind of casual video. We're not going to be doing our makeup today. We're just going to sit down and chat about a very important topic this time of year, and that is prom. So I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video yet, but it's probably going to be something along the lines of prom hacks or things I wish I knew before prom, because I'm an only child, so I didn't have anyone to really talk to about prom or ask questions to or anyone to give me kind of pointers before I went to prom, so I figured that I would make this video for you guys because I actually did one of these quite a few years ago, like I think two or three years ago, and it's still to this day one of the most popular videos on my channel, so I wanted to make a better quality one because that one is like literally embarrassing. I don't suggest that you go watch it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make a better quality one with kind of more of my thoughts and things that I wish somebody would have told me before I went to prom. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, just give it a thumbs up and keep on watching. So the first big topic with prom is your date. I feel like this has been made into such a big thing now with like the prom proposals and everything. Like it's crazy. People go crazy over prom these days. But if you have a date, that's awesome. If you don't have a date, do not make the mistake of not going to prom. First of all, you don't need to have a date like a boy or a girl that you're interested in like to be your date to prom. It can just be a friend. You can go with your cousin. You can bring a friend that goes to another school. If you don't want to bring someone from your own school, you can literally just go by yourself and then hang out with your friends when you're there. Like there is nothing wrong with that. I had multiple people like that I was good friends with in high school that didn't end up going to prom because they didn't have a date or a boy that they were interested in that asked them. And that to me is just so stupid. Like I feel like if I asked them now, they would be really upset that they didn't go to prom and they missed out on that because it's something that you'll remember and talk about from years and years to come. Like I'm sitting down right here talking about this right now when I went to prom like four or five years ago now. So I mean it's something that you're always going to remember for the rest of your life. It's going to be the last time that you're around a lot of these people in your high school. So definitely go take the time. It's going to be so much fun. Like get yourself all nice and glam and go and hang out with your friends because it's not like it's really a date type of event once you're there. Like I went with Steven both years when I was in high school so there really was no like you know, finding a date or anything for me since I had a boyfriend, so I went with him both years. But when we were there, it wasn't like it was just me and Steven that hung out. Like, we hung out with all of our friends and we all hung out together. So, you do not need a date to go to prom. I just wanted to make that a little disclaimer before we even got into anything else. Go to prom. I promise you, if you don't go, even if it's 10 years from now, even if it's the day after prom, you will sometime regret it. My next tip is something that I really wish somebody would have told me <laughs> before I went to prom, and that is to not overspend on your dress. I definitely spent way too much on my dress for prom. Like, I'm not even gonna tell you guys how much I spent because I'm like embarrassed that I spent that much. I like worked at the mall to save up money to buy this dang dress and I've never worn it since then. It sits in my closet. I've never even worn it since prom. Um, do not spend that much money on your dress. This is not your wedding. You're probably never gonna wear the dress again unless you have a reason to wear like a really fancy ball gown type dress again. Like at my high school, people wore floor length the dress. So we didn't wear like shorter dress. I feel like if you wear a shorter prom dress, you might potentially wear that again where like the events that you would go to throughout your life where you have to wear a floor length gown are like few and far between. So chances are you're probably never gonna even wear your prom dress again don't overspend on it. One thing that I would definitely suggest is spend less on the dress but keep money so that you can get it altered because what I ended up doing actually is I spent a lot of money on the dress and then I had to get it altered because it was too big and I wanted it to fit my body properly because I mean I don't know if you guys have ever watched like my lookbook videos or anything and you know like what my whole body looks like because you guys can always see like my shoulders here but um, I have a very small like upper part of my body but I do have more curves towards the bottom part of my body um, so it's hard for me to find like one piece outfits like dresses that fit completely a lot of times they're way too big on the top so they can fit over my butt and you know stuff like that so I got mine altered and that literally changed the whole look of my dress like it made it look so perfect because it was literally altered like to my body so what I would suggest is spending less on the dress and then keeping that extra money and using it towards alteration so you can get your dress altered to your body so it fits you like a glove and I truly truly think you will look absolutely amazing if you do that. There are so many awesome places that you can get inexpensive dresses now. Like I feel like when I went to prom there wasn't that many places. Like there wasn't as many as there are now. One place I would definitely suggest is Windsor. I shop there all the time but I always see that they have like a bunch of prom dresses and like fancy occasion dresses there so definitely check there. They're very inexpensive. There's also a bunch of online websites as well. If you just type into Google like inexpensive prom dresses literally a billion websites will come up with options. I know Lulu's they sell a lot of dresses. I don't know if they have like prom type dresses though but definitely check Windsor. I love Windsor. 
Windsor. It's not sponsored by Windsor. It's not sponsored by anybody. Um, but yeah, that's a really great website to check out. But like I said, do not overspend on the dress. And if you are going to spend a little bit extra money, I would use that money to get the dress tailored so that it fits you like a glove. Also, when it comes to accessories that go along with the dress, so I'm talking like if you want to have anything in your hair, like I know when I went, like some people wore like tiaras and stuff. I didn't do that. Um, but like even if you want to have like a nice like barrette or something, if you're putting your hair half up and you want it to have like rhinestones on it, um, so hair accessories, clutches, jewelry of any kind, even shoes, do not buy it at the place that you buy your dress if you go to like a fancy dress store because it is way more expensive at like those like standalone prom dress stores, like literally go to Forever 21, go to Charming Charlie's, Claire's even, and get your accessories there. You will spend so much less for like literally the same thing. They're just marked up so much at those prom stores because they know people are already there to buy prom stuff, so people are going to buy them. So definitely don't get your accessories at a prom store if you do buy your dress at like an actual prom store. I'm sure Windsor, they have accessories. So if you buy your dress there, you get your accessories there too because they'll be inexpensive. But if it's like a standalone, one of those fancy prom shops, I would not suggest getting your accessories there because they're going to be marked up like crazy. All right, now moving on to the fun stuff, at least for me, and that is the hair and the makeup and all the glam prepping that goes into prom. So... First things first, tan, because I know this is a big thing. I know in my high school, girls for months prior to prom would go tanning, like in actual tanning beds. I can make 755 million videos about why you should never, ever, ever go in a tanning bed. I'm not gonna lecture you because honestly, it probably won't even work, but don't go in a tanning bed. I highly, highly would not suggest it. Um, but what I would suggest is still looking nice and tan and bronze, especially because you're going to be taking all these pictures. And if you have a light dress, you definitely want to, you know, stand out and look nice and bronzy. So what I would suggest is either getting a spray tan or you can definitely do it yourself just using a self tanner. My favorite self tanner is Loving Tan. I have it on right now. I use their ultra dark formula. Um, so I would highly suggest that self tanner if you just want to do it yourself. But definitely look up tutorials on YouTube before you do that. So you don't look like a streaky mess. I would definitely do like a run through maybe a week before. Try it out. Try and do your body. See how it comes out. Um, but you can definitely just get a spray tan if you want a professional to do it. But I would suggest not getting the spray tan the day before prom and definitely not the day of prom. I would get it two days prior just to make sure. I feel like whenever I got a spray tan professionally done, the next day I was like, really really tan and then like the second day after it like subsided a little bit and like I got more used to it and it was like more normal but I feel like it's a little shocking the day after so I wouldn't suggest doing it just one day before and like I said definitely not the day of prom but do it two days prior and you'll look nice and bronzy and glowing and honestly the same thing if you're going to be doing the tan yourself I would do it two days prior. Now for hair and makeup you can definitely do your own hair and your own makeup. YouTube is an amazing thing like you already got it halfway you're already on YouTube watching this video so check out YouTube prom makeup tutorials and prom hair tutorials there are tons of them out there I already have two prom tutorials up on my channel one that's like sparkly and glittery and then one that's completely drugstore so it's super inexpensive so I will link them both down below if you are interested in that but you can absolutely do your hair and your makeup yourself and save a ton of money by doing that I got both of mine done professionally and um, I will my hair was like okay I kind of like fixed it a little bit when I was done but I actually went for a trial kind of for my hair because not really a trial but I was in a wedding like two or so weeks before my prom so I basically got the exact same hair that I wanted for prom on the day of that wedding because I was like well I might as well just like do a trial so I went to the same person and got my hair done so I kind of already knew what I wanted which was really really great um, if you are doing your hair and makeup yourself I would definitely suggest doing a trial do it like a couple of days before so you can practice and check it out when like you know there's no pressure and you're not actually getting ready for prom um, but if you are getting it done professionally I don't think I would suggest to really go and spend the money to get a trial um, but like I said you could definitely do it yourself so check out the tutorials I'll link them down below but um, if you are going to get your makeup and hair done professionally, I would highly recommend two things. One, bring pictures. You want them to know, like, what you want to look like. Because the way that you describe something could totally not be how somebody else perceives it, like, in their head. You know what I mean? So definitely bring pictures of makeup and hair that you like so they kind of know what you're thinking rather than you trying to describe it to them and hoping that they kind of understand what you're saying. If you're not comfortable doing your makeup and you do want to get it done professionally, I would suggest MAC, though, going to a MAC counter to get it done. Because the great thing about MAC is that you actually 
don't have to pay technically to get your makeup done. Basically at MAC, if you buy $50 worth of product, at least that's what it was when I went there. Might be more expensive now, I'm not sure. Um, when I went there, if you bought $50 worth of product, they would do your makeup for you. So they do your makeup for you, you can make the appointment and everything else, and then you just buy $50 worth of product. So you're getting $50 worth of makeup. So I remember I like bought the lipstick and the lip gloss that she used on me and like a couple other things. Um, and you know, with MAC, like three products is gonna make it $50 anyways. So yeah, you're, you're not technically paying to get your makeup done. You are getting that $50 worth of product. It's just required that you do do that. So I think that's a great option. I think Sephora has something similar to that as well, although I have never gotten my makeup done there, so I'm not sure, but I do believe they have something as well. So I feel like then at least you're getting something rather than just going to somebody and paying them $50 to do your makeup. And if you are gonna get both your hair and your makeup done professionally, I would highly suggest getting your hair done first, makeup done after for two reasons. One. Your makeup is the thing, like I feel like your hair can hold longer than the makeup on your face. So I would definitely suggest, especially if you're gonna be eating or something, like you wanna get all of this done before you do your makeup. Um, and also when you get your hair done, they're definitely gonna probably be using hot tools on your hair or if they have to wet your hair to do whatever it is that you wanna do, you definitely do not wanna have makeup on your face because that can definitely interfere with your makeup. You don't want it like melting off because of the heat or you don't want like the water to get on your face. So I would highly recommend get your hair done first and then get your makeup done after. Now while you're actually at prom, one thing that I would highly, highly, highly suggest is bringing a pair of fast flats. Um, I have them, but I don't know where they are. I actually tried to find them before we did this video so I could show them, but if you literally just Google them, they're called like Dr. Scholl's, I believe, fast flats. They're like $5 on Amazon. I'll link them down below if I can find them, but I own them and I bring them everywhere with me still to this day because I love to wear heels, but like mama's feet get tired after a while, so I will put these little fast flats on. They kind of look like socks. Like they're very little, they kind of roll up. You can just throw them in your purse, but they are actually like flats, like little shoes. Um, so I wear them all the time like to events and stuff I always have them in my purse So like if I have to walk somewhere I can just put the fast flats on and then change my heels right before I walk in or like if my feet get tired throughout the night I can put them on so I'm not like walking around barefoot or just in like socks I would highly highly recommend that because you definitely want to dance during prom You want to have fun You don't want to feel like your feet are gonna fall off and you're in like a bunch of pain Because I know I was in like a lot of pain at my prom from my shoes because I didn't like test them out I didn't really wear them before prom and my feet were killing me and like half the night I wasn't even dancing because my feet hurt so much So I would highly recommend bringing something like that because I mean you don't want to be like in some beautiful ball gown And then like in your bare feet. I just feel like that doesn't really go but definitely bring the fast flats Then you just have something to pop right on your feet and You can dance the night away with your friends your date and whomever and not be in serious Pain. Two tips that I have regarding pictures for prom, definitely like plan somewhere before prom to meet with your friends to take pictures. I'm sure most of you have already done that. You know where you're going to be taking your pictures and everything like that. But when you're actually taking the pictures, I would highly suggest giving whoever it is that's going to be taking the pictures for you. So if it's your mom, your dad, your grandma, sister, whoever it is, give them a real digital camera or like a real camera of some sort to take the pictures on. I would only take the pictures on your cell phone if you don't own like a digital camera or something else or no one in your family has that because you really want high quality pictures that you can get made like into prints and that you're gonna have forever where like, I mean the iPhone takes halfway decent pictures, don't get me wrong, but they're not that good. They're still grainy and like these are pictures that you're gonna wanna show your kids 50, you know, well not 50, but however many years from now, like you're gonna wanna have these for the rest of your life. So you wanna have the best quality picture you can. So I would use the best camera that you have at your disposal to take pictures. So I know I took a lot of pictures like on my cell phone at prom and I wish I had taken more of them with like a digital camera so they were better quality. Cause back when I went to prom, the picture quality on cell phones was like way worse than it is now. But I feel like looking back, maybe in five years, you guys will think the same thing about the picture quality now. So um, definitely like get the best camera that you have like in your family and give that to the person that's taking the pictures. Like you can Insta a picture from your phone or whatever, like I'm not saying don't take pictures on your cell phone, but take most of like the formal pictures with the real camera so you do have those forever. Another thing that I would suggest as well is that I know y'all be Snapchatting when you're at prom and whatever I do, whatever it's like a really big day in my life and I'm like documenting it on Snapchat, at the end of the night I will save my whole story. So I basically have kind of like a video of that whole day and I just really like having that. Um, I did that personally for my college graduation last year, like I kind of snapped chatted like the whole day and then at the end of the day I saved the snap story and kind of like now I have this like video documentation of 
like my whole day of the day that I graduated from college. So I would suggest doing that for prom. I wish Snapchat was a thing when I had proms. I would definitely do that. Um, but it'll be kind of like a nice little keepsake that you will have if you do use Snapchat and plan to be using it throughout the night. And my last little tidbit of advice is something that I personally didn't follow, although I wish that I did. Um, I know everyone with prom, especially nowadays, is like, you know, you're really excited for prom and for the night of prom, but like I feel like everyone, at least in my high school, when I went to prom was like more excited about after prom. Like everyone wanted to get through prom and then go to after prom, like go down the shore with their friends or to the Poconos or wherever they were going um, with their friends, like for the weekend. That's typically a thing that everyone in my high school did, like you went away. Um, for prom weekend. So basically everyone just wanted to get through prom and get to that. So I ended up leaving with a bunch of my friends early from prom, not super early, but I want to say maybe about an hour early where there was a lot of people like in my high school that were only at prom for like an hour, like left really, really early to start driving down the shore and like get down there or whatever. But like realistically, yes, you're going to be spending the whole weekend with your friends. You can wait. Like you should stay at prom, even though the people that you probably care about hanging out at prom with are your friends and they're going to be the same people that you're going down the shore with or whoever to prom weekend. But this is really like one of the last times that you're ever going to be with all of these people that you went to high school with. Like it sounds weird now and I feel like if somebody would have told me this when I was with high school, I would have been like, okay, who cares? But there are so many people from my high school that I like think back and I'm like wow like I was like friends with them in high school like we had a bunch of classes together so we were like class friends but like once you graduate and you move on to so many other things like for me personally I've only really stayed connected with the people that I was really good friends with in high school not like those people who were like acquaintances in high school who I really like like I'll think about some people sometimes and be like oh my god like I really miss them you know I wonder what they're up to but it's just like you once you move on with your life and your life like evolves like you kind of only stay connected with the people who you were like really, really close with. Um, so what I would suggest is stay at prom for the entire time and really just like, you know, talk to those people who are like your acquaintances and like, you know, laugh at them or whatever it may be. Like, just because this really will be the last time that you're really ever in one room with like the majority of people that you went to high school with. So definitely cherish it and have a lot of fun and don't be in too much of a rush to leave early to go to prom weekend because you got the whole weekend to hang with your friends and you'll probably still be hanging with them when you're in college and you know even beyond that but it's those other people that you might not be going to prom weekend with that are still your friends that you probably won't see as often. So yeah those are really my top tips and like some things that I wish people would have told me before I went to prom. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below if you have not already and thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope that you all have so much fun at prom. Bye guys!